you know, a lot of people say now, in order to be a dynasty, you have to win uh, two championships in a row, or you know, you have to win three in a row. Um, yo, 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 what's the deal? What's the deal? It's your boy. Who is it though? And we back talking sports. So, <clears throat> I actually have a two-part video. This is part one. Um, so, I wanted to talk about Tim Duncan. I grew up watching Tim Duncan. Um, as you know, I grew up watching basketball in the late 90s. All of the 2000s. Those were the days I couldn't wait to turn on the basketball game. I used to religiously watch NBA uh, Wednesday. You know what I'm saying? All the uh, all the um, games, national televised games, the Pistons, local games. I used to try to get my way in any game. And Tim Duncan, Kobe, you know what I'm saying, the two biggest figures of the 2000s, used to love watching them go against each other. Sometimes Tim Duncan will win. Sometimes Kobe will win. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Tim Duncan, Manu, Tony Parker, when they finally got there. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you had the early, early start where you just where you had Shaq and Kobe and Tim and um a, a, a older David Robinson. Then you had Shaq and Kobe and Tim Duncan and I guess you could say I'm not sure when Manu let me see when Manu got uh or Manu and Tony Parker got um drafted. So he got oh okay. Okay, so Manu got drafted in 99. Okay, cool. So, yeah, so Manu, I think Tony Parker was drafted a couple years later. Yeah, I think Tony Parker was drafted. Yeah. I want to say he was drafted in 2001. Okay, so <clears throat> Tony Parker was drafted like in the middle of our in in the middle of the dynasty. Manu was drafted a couple years before, so I used to love watching them play each other. But it's a question that uh KD that they was talking about with KD, but that I want to ask about Tim Duncan. You know what I'm saying? The part two is going to be about KD. But this part one is about Tim Duncan. Should Tim Duncan be in the um, GOAT debate? I mean, I'm just asking. I'm just asking. You got people like, and I've seen people do this. You got people putting Steph in the GOAT debate. Try, well, trying to put Steph and KD in the GOAT debate um, and everything. You got people trying to say Kobe can't be in the GOAT debate. What about my boy? What about Timmy? 15 time All Star, 15 time All NBA, 97 98 All Rookie Team, and made the All NBA team. Three times Finals MVP, two time MVP, five time champ, 15 time All Defensive Team. That's the most ever. Rookie of the Year, All Star MVP, averages of 19 10 and 3, which is uh, misleading. Very, very misleading. <coughs> no, in the playoffs, he averaged 20 and 11. That's misleading as well because due to, uh, especially the last year, um, yeah, especially the last year, but I'm going to say this. Oh, I can't Tim Duncan be in the GOAT debate. He created a dynasty. He was at one point, maybe for a year or two, or 
You know what I'm saying? At one point to some people, arguably the best player in the world or the best player in the world. He really, if you were to be real, he really had a dynasty for about what? 15 year dynasty? Damn near 20 year dynasty? I say, what about 15 year dynasty? What keeps him out is what people be like. He didn't win back to backs. He never led the league in um in rebounding, which is all true. That's all true. But he did lead the league in blocks twice. <coughs> so so I guess you could say that. But when you look at you know what I'm saying. All the times he was a like getting the all NBA and all defensive team, he was one of the best two way players. If you really look at it, man, and he dominated, dominated people like LeBron James. He's two on one against LeBron. He's eight and eighteen versus Kobe, but I think he has the winning uh, record in the regular in the regular season. But he stopped Kobe from getting a lot of championships. Stop Braun from getting a couple. Stop Dirk. He stopped a lot of people from getting championships, for sure, for sure. And and honestly, if you want me to be real, if it wasn't for that Ray Allen shot, Tim Duncan would be six and no. We might be talking about Duncan or or Jordan. I mean, what what could you really say? He would be six and no in the finals. They would they would be talking about the MVP. That that's what. And we they would be talking about just player to player, you know what I'm saying? But if y'all gonna be trying to put these other dudes that have no business in the goat debate, and it, Tim Duncan he got a case, don't he? Listen, to be in the goat debate, to me, you have to be all time offensively, all time defensively. And your resume have to stack up. And when I say that, in my opinion, <clears throat> you have to have a certain number. You have to have, <clears throat> you have to be as good as you was on the defensive, at least as good as you was on the defensive end as you was on the offensive end. People like Tim Duncan, people like um, Kobe, people like Jordan. Tim Duncan, in my opinion, because these are the like the Kareem. These are like the top four. My Mount Rushmore. That's my Mount Rushmore. So, and LeBron his prime. LeBron for for like the first 10, 10 years of his career. So, that's my. That's just my. That was just a question I was wondering. You know what I'm saying? Should Tim Duncan be in the GOAT debate since we put, since people was trying to put Steph Curry and KD and, you know what I'm saying? You got these young dudes talking about Paul, I mean, Paul George. Listen, GOAT, this GOAT word is being used too loosely, bro. I understand, you know what I'm saying? You saying that's your GOAT, but that's, that's not what a GOAT is, bro. What you really mean to say is Paul George is your favorite player. Just say that, bro. He's not even the most skilled or most talented. So I just think that word is used too loosely. But this is just my opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all think. It's been Who is Hendo. Like, share, subscribe. I'm out. Peace.